Should you buy the Roku 4 over the Roku 3 or should you buy the Roku 4? My answer is no and let me tell you why. The first reason is the Roku 4 is much bigger than the Roku 3. The Roku 3 is on the left and the Roku 4 is on the right. My second con is the Roku 4 is much more expensive than the Roku 3. The Roku 3 comes in at $100 whereas the Roku 4 comes in at $125 making it $25 more expensive than the Roku 3. But my number one con why the Roku 4 is not better than the Roku 3 is because the Roku 4 has a fan in it and what do fans do? They make noise. Now it's not as loud as a computer, a laptop, a game system but it does make a slight hiss. You can hear the slight hiss on the Roku 4 whereas the Roku 3 makes no noise at all because it has no fan in it. But to be fair the Roku 4 is not all doom and gloom. The Roku 4 has some good qualities about it. On top of the box you have a button that lets you find your remote. The remote on the Roku 4 has a speaker on it so you can find your uh, remote control if you lose it. Another thing is the Roku 4 supports 4K and the Roku 3 only supports up to 1080p so you are going from 1080p to 4K. Another thing the Roku 4 has is it has an optical audio on the back so you can plug in speakers, you can plug in a surround sound system but to be fair on the Roku 3 you can plug in speakers or surround sound if you use an HDMI receiver. So technically they both can have surround sound or you both can use speakers on both of the boxes. Another thing is the processor has been upped from dual core on the 3 to quad core on the 4. Another thing is the 3 has only N support so you're only getting N support on the Roku 3. Now on the Roku 4 you are getting the new AC Wi-Fi. So if you have AC Wi-Fi, you are going to be getting it on the Roku 4. Now in my testing, I do own AC speeds and I do have AC speeds. What I can say is videos did not load much faster on the Roku 4 than the Roku 3. They loaded about the same speed on both boxes. But what I can say is going through the channels or browsing through them, on the home screen, the home screen did feel a tiny bit snappier on the Roku 4 than the Roku 3. But for the average consumer or the average user, you're not going to notice the speed difference unless you compare them side by side, which I think most people aren't comparing these boxes side by side. But that's just what I found. I found it to be a little bit snappier going through the menus and through the home screen. I did find it snappier. Now in terms of content, you're not getting more content on the 4. You're actually getting the same amount of content on the 3 and the 4. So don't feel like the 4 has more content. You're getting the same channels, the same videos, everything is exactly the same. They both have the same ports too. Exception for the uh, remote finder on the top on the 4 and the optical audio out on the back of the 4. Those are the only differences in terms of ports on the 4 that the 3 does not have. Overall, I cannot recommend the 4 over the 3. You're better off saving your money, buying the Roku 3. It's a better value, a better deal. It doesn't make sound. It's not as uh, big. It's a smaller box. The only reason you should buy the Roku 4 is for 4K. If you have to be future-proofed, or if you own a 4K TV at this current moment, then go ahead and buy the Roku 4. The Roku 4 is still a better, it's still a good box for what it is. I just don't recommend it over the Roku 3. I would go with the Roku 3 in this case. Anyway, peace out. I'll see you guys later in my next video. I'm out.